How's it going everyone? John here and welcome back to another streaming video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the moderation tools over on Twitch. Now back in 2018 at TwitchCon, they had announced that they were going to be giving moderators some additional tools to really help them for the channels that they mod for. Now to be able to get to the screen that I'm at right now, you're going to want to go ahead and log into your account. Click on your avatar to get this drop down, go down to dashboard, and then go all the way down to moderation. Now here you're going to have all of your tools and controls and options, whatever you want to call it. You're going to have them all here for you. And to just kind of quickly go through all of these, and please make sure you go through all of these to really fine tune how you want your mods to be able to handle everything. Even if you don't have mods, there is this option here called auto mod for the rule set. Make sure you go ahead and spend some time on this. You can filter it to customize it however you want, and it's really useful. This little demo here shows you exactly how it works. You find something funky inside your chat. You can either approve it or deny it. Once you approve it, then everybody sees it. If you deny it, no one sees it, no harm, no foul. So it's very nice to have, especially if you don't have any mods. Now you can go and block terms and phrases. You can permit them as well. You can block or allow hyperlinks. You can put a non-mod chat delay if you wanted to. Now you can even have it where people have to have their email verified before they can even send a message in your chat room, which is great. Having your chat rules being like a private little whisper or a little bubble that pops up inside of the chat is also really useful too, because that means people have to see that before they go and actually send a message. Will they read it? That's entirely up to them, but at least you gave the option for them and at least you can say, well, hey, you saw the chat rules before you even came in here. Please make sure you, you know, follow those rules and so on and so forth. Now you can have followers, you can have the follower mode on or off if you wish to. Uh, you know, it's, it's entirely up to you if you want to have that on or off. I personally keep that off that way. I'm not, you know, just strictly making sure people have to follow, but entirely up to you, however you want to do it. The big thing though, is the moderator tools in chat. This is new. This allows your moderators to view the chat, ban history, timeouts, all that jazz and I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like in just a moment because I've, I've actually set that up on my own page. Now you can also ban certain chatters, you can see that and everything and then of course down here it just kind of talks about how you want to have your uploads and allowing people to send messages or you know they don't have the ability of doing it and how long they have to be a follower before they can even leave a message on any of your videos that so you put in your collections and anything like that. So if you go over to your page and you, you know, you, you should be able to do this even without a mod because you are your own mod, right? So what you can do is just send a message like I did. I just typed in hi. And then if you click on the name, it's going to give you this little window here. So it's going to display how long their account's been created for, what type of sub tier, you know, that particular one is, if they are even a sub. And then the big thing is being able to see how many messages they've sent, the timeouts, bans, comments, and so on and so forth. So if you are a mod and you want to see other mods comments, you can click on here and it's going to show you how long ago that was actually placed there and what mod had left that comment. It could be a good one, could be a bad comment or anything like that. You can see how many times they've been banned for. You can see how many times they've been timed out. And then you can see every single message that they have ever put into chat. So this is very useful information and I love this as a moderating tool. So I really think that's great. And I don't know if you could do this on multiple people's names, but if you are maybe in multiple channels or maybe if you're just seeing multiple people kind of giving some red flags, you can just kind of pop out each one maybe. I'm not entirely sure, but if you're moderating for different streams i think if they allow you to pop out multiple ones at one time and being able to kind of keep tabs on them i think that's great and even being able to do that with just one uh, stream channel up but having like multiple of the people that are kind of throwing those red flags up kind of on the side on your screen i think that's pretty great too but i wanted to kind of bring this to your guys attention and just kind of go over this real quick but like i said make sure you're going through your entire moderation stuff inside your dashboard and just really utilize it to how it's going to fit best for your channel but anyway guys thank you so much for watching the video if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below make sure you go ahead and check out the channel as i have a bunch of different tutorials for streaming and discussions on streaming and if you ever need to reach me i'm always available on discord and also on twitter or in the YouTube comments. Thank you so much for watching, like I said, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.